Welcome back to WLST in OAP. This is the second video tutorial. In this, we are going to learn about launching the Eclipse. What are the environment settings you need to do before going to create a WLST script and how to execute it, how to run the script. So let us open the Eclipse. Once you start the Eclipse, it is going to ask you for the workspace path. Workspace path, it's a directory. Whenever you specify here, it is going to create this directory and all its modules and uh, deployment descriptors, whatever is going to be generated by the Eclipse that will be stored in the workspace. So let us jump into the scripting to do this you need to create a new fresh project what kind of project we have to create a web project or you can choose here dynamic web project the dynamic web project you can choose from the web folder there are several varieties of projects in Eclipse and here I am choosing the dynamic web project. Once you selected the web project, you need to specify the runtime environment or server environment where you can deploy this one, where you are going to target this one to which server. So here we have several servers, weblogic, 8 9 10 is provided by BA systems weblogic 10.3.x onwards provided by Oracle so Oracle provided uh, the latest version weblogic 10.3.4 I am choosing here the relevant reference patch set is 3 so that one I am choosing here and last time we are installed installed weblogic 10.3.4 the same thing I am choosing here once you select a weblogic home it will automatically look up for the Java home if it is not appropriate for your project then you can choose JRocket then you can choose the project name so this is the project where you are going to have the bunch of source code we are going to write or we are going to create for your projects so normally most most of the Java developers who are entering into the administration site after they are completing two to three years Java development site then they are turning into the weblogic administration role then they are going to show their programming skills they, they sometimes feel like we have a programming skill that uh, we want to show sometime where it can give a better performance wonderful uh, experience excitement which you can give to your project by giving a uh, wonderful scripts so here this is the opportunity where you can create the scripts the script you don't need to know about shell scripting you don't need to know about the Python scripting so here let us start let us enable the WLST scripting and your Eclipse. So here I'm starting Eclipse and uh, go to the properties. On top of uh, Project Explorer, you are going to have the properties. In this properties, uh, there is no WLST uh, folder. So to enable that one, you don't know how to uh, write, where to write. So let us go for the Project facet where you can enable your weblogic scripting tool support 
so this is what you have to select choose from the project facet once you are selected this one whole web logic web like jar dot jar is uh, ready to use and uh, java java jaitan uh, modules are available for your eclipse you can make everything let us start let us create basic web logic domain with the wlst templates the templates which are very very easy to use the people who doesn't know what is scripting how to start where to start that is very easy easiest way where you can learn wlst so choose the template just by right click and go to the new wlst script it is going to give the pop up menu where you can choose the create basic uh, web logic domain then give a name to that so here this is how it is going to give the option where you can give the new domain dot py py indicates the python script so every wlst script is a python script generally any jaitan script also you are going to have the extension as uh, dot py so here once you have chosen the template everything whole script is ready for you you can specify your username password and domain name as per your choice and you can run the script right click run as wlst script here you can get the cancel how it is going to do uh, execution first it is setting the environment then it is going for the execution of the wlst your script so the script is having uh, ba home web logic home then it is having the domain creation configurations once it is done then it is going to show the successful message which is given by the print statement in the script everything done then it will exit from the script once uh, the script is executed everything is done then you are going to verify this so let us go and uh, verify what it is made what uh, the script is made for you uh, the web logic domain is created means it is having a wonderful directory structure web logic domain structure it is going to have uh, let us see in the ba home in the ba home you are going to have the uh, domain user project is going to have the domains in the domains you are going to have the your uh, whatever you specified in your uh, script that name is going to come up here that uh, domain name is uh, demo domain in the demo domain you can see the configuration folder uh, and it is having other folders so config folder is having config uh, file config.xml file which is a repository for your uh, web logic configuration whatever you did uh, with your script so this is how uh, the configuration is uh, came up uh, that is a successful story of your learning web logic domain creation with the wlst keep watching thank you